This is the power button. To power on the device, press and hold it for 4 seconds until the LED starts flashing green. When the LED changes to flashing blue, it is ready to connect. To toggle standby mode, just briefly press the power button. This is the function button. In the CPEN Core app, it is possible to program this button to perform certain actions. This is the scan trigger. The scan light comes on and the device is ready to scan when the trigger is pressed. Before the pen can be used, it needs to be paired with a phone or a tablet. Click Get Started. Click Next. Click Allow. Power on the pen. Click the link to get to Bluetooth settings. Now click Pair New Device. Click to select BT10. Complete pairing. Switch back to the app. Click Next to proceed. Wait for the app to connect to the pen. Now setup is completed and we are ready to scan. The left pointing arrow in the upper left corner leads to the archive where everything is automatically saved. Click the three vertical dots for file options. It is possible to upload the file to a cloud drive or share it to other messengers or note apps like Gmail, Evernote, etc. This is the workspace. Anything scanned ends up here. The pen icon in the top bar shows connection status. Solid blue means connected. Flashing blue means the app is trying to connect to the pen. And orange indicates low battery level. To translate the text in the workspace, click the translation icon in the top bar. Translation is provided by the Google Translate app. Use the app settings to select target language. Click the speech icon to listen to the text being read out loud. Thanks for getting back to me so quickly. Clicking the text on the workspace enables more options. The functions Read, Translate, Share now works on a word level rather than on a file level. Clicking Edit enables manual editing of the text. To get to Settings, click the three vertical dots in the upper right corner. Then select Settings. Click Scan Language to select Scan Language and Speech Language to select Speech Language. Unless set otherwise, the speech language keeps in sync with the scan language. Should a speech language be missing, then check Android speech settings. With scan mode, you can decide if a new scan replaces or appends the previous one. With scan separator, you can specify if a certain character or command shall be added after each scan. If auto speech is enabled, each new scan is automatically read out loud. This is very useful if using the pen as an assistive text reader. The function key can be assigned to perform a specific task. Power options allow you to set the pen to automatically enter standby mode or power down after a certain amount of time. It is recommended to set the shutdown time long enough to avoid it to shut down during normal use. Instead, use standby to save power. It is also possible to manually set the pen to standby mode by briefly pressing the power button. To revert back from standby, press the power button briefly again.